Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Football Club of Riverside. I'm your host and my name is Yemi. Today I'll be talking about marriage. Marriage from a Christian perspective and why you should be in one. So according to the Holy Scriptures, marriage is defined as honouring holy matrimony, as a divine, blessed, lifelong, uh, monogamous, mon monogamous union uh, between a man and a woman. There is no better definition there's no better union for a man and a woman to be in than in a godly christian marriage and i'll come back to that in a minute um, the the beauty of a christian marriage is it mirrors the love of god that god loved for us through jesus and uh, using jesus and the church uh, so the, the the good book talks about how wives should submit to their husbands as the husband submit to Christ and the same token is men should love their wife as Christ loves the church now we are the church uh, the best way that God can demonstrate love to, to a basic level that we can understand is true marriage where God puts a man and a woman together in holy matrimony and those two figure out how life works um, and that's what the video is about how can we get back to that godly Christian marriage or marriages? So I'll talk briefly about the, the gift of uh, marriage. And this, I'll just focus on three. And the gift of marriage, the first one is companionship. When God saw Adam in the garden, God looked at Adam and God said, it is not good for the man to be alone. So it was God's idea that man should not be alone. And the best way for man not to be alone is to have a companion and in this companionship God created Eve and gave him to Adam to help Adam as a helpmeet so Eve was there her purpose was to assist and help Adam uh, that doesn't give room to boss lady I've got my own thing you have to come under the leadership of your husband as, as God intended and the second one is passion the the preciousness of love, the overwhelming power, the sense of belonging that you only get in a lasting and loving marriage. That's the passion. And lastly, the purpose. Uh, companionship and timing. Uh, the purpose of marriage is, like I said earlier, it's the best union. It's the best union for a man and a woman to be together, to raise a family and to create empire that's marriage so if marriage is done properly it's healthy there is something magical about a man and a woman that are together in exclusive uh, marriage for a long time talk like about 15 20 25 or even 30 years and those sort of marriages they're still around you don't get to hear about them because it's not news the news that we hear about now is uh, uh, about divorces and people falling apart or people deciding not to get married or together but getting back to marriage and got the marriage will do us a lot of good will be good for our economy and would even help the NHS so what are the benefits of marriage the benefit of godly marriage 